Winter Cut Day 78. I know you guys probably aren't used to this angle. I'm not used to this angle either. I just brought my phone up on my window. But anyway, boys, just want to give a quick little update since I didn't really do much today. No real vlogging material. Uh, uh, today was a lot of food. I went to an event where there was a ton of freaking cookies and cannolis and steak and salmon and all this stuff and it was all really really incredible and amazing and uh i had a ton of that so yes today was uh you know i had a giant cheat meal but it is what it is and uh, i just want to talk about how i am formally recommitting to the cut if you guys watch me you know that lately i've been having more cheat meals and being more undisciplined and you know not tracking and you know, not really being mindful about what I'm eating. Uh, but, that all stops now. I'm going to start taking it really seriously, boys, and I think you're going to see a pretty incredible transformation. Uh, if you think that I'm lean right now, I'm not even close to where I want to be. And I'm definitely going to look really, really awesome by the end of this cut. But, boys, don't forget, the only reason that a bodybuilder cuts is either to compete or to potentiate a bulk. And right now, I'm potentiating a bulk. I want to get so shredded and so lean that I have very little fat on my body. Obviously, I don't want to crash my hormones, but I doubt that's going to happen because I'm already a pretty low weight anyway, and I still feel amazing. So, you know, we're going to get to the 140s, probably 145-ish, and, uh, you know, be super shredded, super lean, you know, not water depleted or anything, just super lean in general. And uh, from there, I want to do a very disciplined six meal a day bulk um we'll see what happens there if i still want to bulk that way but i definitely at the moment i'm thinking that a six meal a day chicken and rice type of bulk is the way to go really calculated um getting in massive amounts of protein and carbohydrates and that should be kind of a recipe for growth and um you know i'll go into more detail about it uh tomorrow potentially but uh i believe that you know, obviously there's studies that talk about protein absorption and everything and how, you know, you only need 0.8 grams per pound of body weight and some studies say upwards of 1.5 grams can help. Um, but at the end of the day, I think why not try more, you know? Why not try a stupid amount of protein and just see what happens, like 300 grams. So, yeah, I'm gonna be intaking a ton of protein on the next bulk just to experiment because what's the point of always just assuming you know everything and assuming there's nothing to be learned uh, I could look at a bunch of studies that just confirm what I want to believe but at the end of the day I won't know for a fact what I could benefit from most until I try these things so like I have my sleep very dialed in I have my eating dialed in from what I know scientifically speaking you know get my protein fat, carbs, micronutrients, all that, I'm good there. But, and the training is also dialed in, but to take it to the next step, I'm thinking maybe there could be an optimization in my bulk, and instead of having, you know, a typical amount of protein, 120 grams or whatever, 130, 140, 150 grams, I'm just gonna try double that, 240, 300, between those numbers carb load constantly get glycogen in the muscle really focus and just getting filled up and eating every two hours i think those things are going to be very beneficial especially if i implement like 10 minute walks right i want to get a uh, treadmill just so i could do 10 minute walks after every meal go to the gym come back 10 minute walk um after i eat and everything i mean this is i think going to be a recipe for tremendous progress and you know we're going to get tons of rest tons of hard training tons of eating and i know that there's going to be some people who watch this and comment oh man what are you doing you don't need 300 grams of protein you don't need 300 grams of carbs but i'll tell you this man yeah i have a decent amount of muscle i definitely don't look bad but i could be a lot bigger and if there is a method of gaining muscle that I haven't tried yet because I'm assuming that I know so much about diet. 
it would be stupid of me not to try that method, right? Even if, even if, let's say there's a giant meta-analysis that says eating 300 grams of protein doesn't do anything more than eating 150. Dude, there's always outliers. There's always people who, there's, there's factors that they don't account for in these studies, man. That's the thing that I always have a problem with with failure studies. Now, I'm sure these things are addressable, and I'm open-minded, but when they take studies on going to failure versus leaving reps in reserve, how hard are the people really training? You know, are they really training to failure? Are they really going to the point where they cannot lift the weight anymore? If they are, then kudos to them, but a lot of these studies are like, failure training isn't more effective. And, you know, leaving reps in reserve is the same as training to failure, but training to failure just causes a, light, a little bit more stimulus, but a lot more fatigue. And I'd say, just do what you enjoy. At the end of the day, I think what you enjoy is going to cause the most growth. And um, especially if it's the goal, right? If you're trying to grow and you really like an exercise and you enjoy it and you progress in it, it's going to grow you more than anything else. So I'm just going to use the absolute craziest tools in my arsenal and really dial in on this next bulk, which I'm just trying to potentiate, guys. You've only seen me cut on this channel, but, you know, a while prior to this, all I did was bulk. You know, I would have like 150 grams of protein, anywhere from 120 to 150. And, you know, I'm not a tall guy or anything, so that's okay. I'm like five foot eight. So that amount of protein was enough for me to grow. But if more can help, if more carbs can help, if more protein can help, why not input it? So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys tomorrow. Talk to you about whatever. Weather's kind of crappy, so probably won't be walking. Maybe doing something else, protein shake talk. But anyway, hope you guys have a good one.